All right, I'm going to do a video showing three different examples of Billy Graham's ecumenicalism, apostasy, and disobedience regarding salvation and what is the gospel and the basic ten tenets of the biblical Christian religion, uh, not Roman Catholicism, because Roman Catholicism is not Christianity whatsoever. But here's the first clip I'm going to show, uh, because in each clip he denies essentially that salvation is only through Jesus Christ. Here's the first clip. Uh, this is on an interview with Robert Schuller back in 1997, and Billy Graham denies salvation by Christ alone. Watch this. I think everybody that, that loves Christ or knows Christ, whether they're conscious of it or not, they're members of the body of Christ. And that's what God is doing today. He's calling people for, out of the, the world for his name, whether they come from the Muslim world or the Buddhist world or the Christian world or the non-believing world. Uh, they are members of the body of Christ because they've been called by God. They may not even know the name of Jesus, but uh, they know in their heart that they need something that they don't have, and they turn to the only light that they have, and I think that they are saved and that they're going to be with us in heaven. This is fantastic. And I'm so thrilled to hear you say that. There is a wideness in God's mercy. Now, some may say, well, that's just one example. Maybe he was taken out of context. Maybe it's not the full of uh, what he was trying to say, the full uh, extent of what he was trying to say. Well, it's not just one example. Here's a clip of him back in uh, 2001 at the National Cathedral saying essentially that the cross does not apply to other religions. Okay, check this out. Here in this majestic National Cathedral, we see all around us symbols of the cross. For the Christian, I'm speaking for the Christian now, the cross tells us that God understands our sin and our suffering. For he took upon himself in the person of Jesus Christ our sins and our suffering. And if you thought that was it, here's another example, another clip of this time. This is Billy Graham, I think back in the 1980s on the Larry King show, uh, back when Larry King was still alive. And he is, again, in this clip, he actually uh, says that he doesn't know if Muslims, Jews, Catholics, and Mormons go to hell. And he doesn't, he, you know, it's not, I can't judge them and that kind of stuff. I mean, check this out. You can't make this kind of stuff up. But what about those faiths, the Mormons and the others that you mentioned, believe in Christ? They believe they will meet Christ. What about those like the Jews, the Muslims, who don't believe as That's you That's in believe? God's hands. I can't be the judge. You don't judge them? No. No, how do you feel when going to hell and you, oh, I don't. how do you feel when you see a lot of these strong Christian leaders go on television and say you are condemned you will live in hell if you do not accept Jesus Christ and they they are forceful and judgmental well, uh, they have a right to say that and they are they are true to a certain extent but I don't that's not my calling my calling is to preach the love of God and the forgiveness of God and the fact that he does forgive us. That's what the cross is all about, what the resurrection's all about. That's the gospel. And like I said, you can't make this kind of stuff up. It's it's unreal how he's just openly saying this kind of stuff. And he still, his, his legacy still lives on. Because some may say, why you're attacking somebody who he died in uh, 2018, February of 2018. Well, because his legacy is still very strong today. And you know, he says, oh, we can't, I can't judge them. Well, the Word of God judges them. The Word of God judges Catholics, Mormons, Muslims, and Jews because the Jews, the Mormons, the Muslims, and the Catholics follow false religion. They all see Mormonism, Judaism, Islam, and Catholicism are false religions that will lead you to hell. And here's where the Word of God judges them. And notice too in the other clip, the one with uh, Schuler, he said there's a wideness of God's mercy. Really? Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 to 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. So, Schuler says there's a wideness to God's mercy, but what does Jesus say? That the way is narrow, and the gate, the wide gate, is actually the one that leads to destruction. Another scripture on the matter, John chapter 3, verse 36. John chapter 3, verse... 36. Oops, went to the wrong verse there. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. 
is that simple. Muslims, Jews, Mormons, Catholics, they don't believe on the Son, the biblical Jesus Christ of God's Word. They, they, have, see, they have a form of Jesus Christ, but they deny the scriptural Jesus Christ. Their Jesus Christ is another Jesus Christ that Paul warned about in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. In 1 John chapter uh, 5, verse 10 to 12. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. Okay? The Apostle John here is, I guess you could say, judging the Jews, the Mormons, the Muslims, and the Catholics because they don't have the Son of God. It's that simple. So the Word of God judges them. But you see, Billy Graham and his ecumenicalism and apostasy is contradicting the clear verse of Scripture and also contradicting not just these verses, but also Acts 4, verse 12, where Jesus says there's none, no other name whereby men must be saved. There's, there's uh, John chapter 14, verse 6, where again, you know, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It's that simple. In Acts chapter 4, verse 12, is Peter explaining that, you know, Jesus, there's no other, no other name under heaven. Which is kind of funny because it goes against the Catholic thing of, of the Catholic Church being the way of salvation. Because if Peter was the first pope, well, he's saying that Jesus Christ is salvation, not the church. So, side to show on that as well. But the bottom line is, is that Billy Graham's ecumenicalism has caused him to go astray from the clear verses of scripture that show that yes, God does judge Mormons, Muslims, Jews, and Catholics because they reject the only way of salvation through Jesus Christ. So, I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, it is sad how much of an influence he has today still, uh, given his, his blatant apostasy. But that's just the reality we live in in this fallen world. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.